Mike Davidson's first time around this rivalry? Uh, you know, it, it's all I can say is it's special. I mean, it, 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 there is an asterisk. You, you circle it on the calendar, all that stuff, um, and, and it's just special. It's one that, that sticks out, um, you know, as a player, as a coach, um, as a son, um, hopefully someday as a father. Um, you know, it, 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 it's, it's just special. Angelo DiCarlo roams the sidelines of this one like a bingo caller tonight, and it's going to be a great atmosphere. You and I have seen our share of these. What is it about this rivalry that makes it so unique? Well, you got kids that went to grade school together, and then one decided to go to St. Joe, one decided to go to Marion. And they all know each other, whether it's travel baseball or other sports or grade school. They know each other, they're competitors, they want to win off the field, but then when the game's over, they're friends on the field. And this is the first time in quite some time that maybe both teams are pretty good you know it's been one or the other for a while and mostly it's been Marion but then St. Joe gets that huge win last week we still think Marion's gonna be very good based on what you guys just talked about with their schedule I think this is gonna be a very tight and close game like it's been the last three years at the end of the game win or lose they'll get together for prayer but typically the loser has to go to confession on Saturday as well we've got a lot to talk about with the Lillard insurance keys to win and the St. Joe County Police Department pregame show and it comes your way next on the Sports Michiana Game of the Week. Medicare plans can be confusing, but they don't have to be. I'm Tony Letcher, licensed insurance agent. I can help you compare your options because I'm appointed with many nationally recognized carriers. With my help, you can find the coverage that fits your needs and budget. I don't want you to be my client today. I want you to be my client forever. Call Tony Ledger today to schedule your free consultation or visit tledger.com. Shopping for tires used to be like pulling teeth. That was before I went to TireRack.com. TireRack's tire decision guide made it easy to drill down to the right tires for me. Huh? Oh, I got a great deal. My tires shipped fast and free and arrived the next day. I even got two years of free road hazard protection. Where? You're darn right, wow. Next time your tires get long in the tooth, visit TireRack.com. TireRack.com, the way tire buying should be. And this edition of the Sports Michigan High School Football Game of the Week being brought to you by the St. Joseph County Police Department. Join the team, help protect and serve our community. Welcome back to Atulski Field. You are looking live as we get you ready for our St. Joe County Police Department pregame show with the Lillian Insurance key players and keys to win. We'll start with St. Joe, and they're led by a couple of sophomores on offense. The quarterback, A.J. Lassane, 5'10", 170 pounds, completing... Just a little over 50% of his passes so far this season for 508 yards and five touchdowns. He's the brother of former Marion quarterback Bryce Lesane. And his favorite target has been Brayson Hurley, a 6'3", 205-pound sophomore. Had seven receptions last week in the win over New Prairie. 18 for the year. Three of them have gone to the house. The keys to win for Ben Downey and the Huskies. The keys to win for the Huskies. They need to protect uh, you know, the football. Too many turnovers in the first few weeks. They need to limit those. Feed the playmakers. Get the playmakers the ball. And get outside leverage on defense. Make sure you contain that fast Marion offense. Marion loves to run the football, and they like to do it with the diminutive running back, Brian Osmond, 5'5", 150 pounds, but he's rushed for 345 yards in three games so far, including four touchdowns, and when they need big hits on defense, they call on Braden Smith, one of the state's leading tacklers with 41 stops so far this year, but he's also a turnover machine, two fumble recoveries, two interceptions. The keys to win for Michael Davidson and the Knights. Keys to win for the Knights, no turnovers, period. They don't want any play fast on defense get up stop that offense of st joe and win the field position battle they believe that they can win in the kicking game tonight in the words of t-rex it's time to bang a gun and get it on these have been the keys to win brought to you by the lillard insurance agency on our st joseph county police department pregame show the opening kick is next on sports michiana Just graduated high school and now wondering what's next? Ready to start making a difference? Now is your chance. The St. Joe County Police Department Correctional Officer's starting pay is $50,000. 
Working in the jail can teach you life skills that you can use as a correctional or police officer. Benefits include vacation, medical, dental, and vision. For more information, call Sergeant Kylie Williams at 574-245-6263 or apply at sjcpd.org. And this edition of the Sports Machine, a high school football game of the week, is being brought to you in part by Imagineering Finishing Technologies. IFT, where quality is a way of life. We'll take a moment here to check the series history between these two schools. This rivalry dating all the way back to 1967. And St. Joe has the upper hand, although it has narrowed a little bit in recent years. St. Joe now with a 36-27 lead because Marion has won eight of the last ten, and that includes a 16-10 decision last year on October 13th. Our weather tonight brought to us by our newest partner with Sports Michiana, and that's Patrick Industries. It is a warm night in the bend, and in the Princess City for that matter. 85 degrees, the wind um, gentle zephyr out of the east-southeast at 10 miles an hour, and there is no chance of rain. The captains are meeting at midfield. We'll be back with the opening kickoff after this. You're watching High School Football on Sports Michiana. In 1969, America celebrated men landing on the moon. Now the USA is trying to return, and Imagineering Finishing Technologies in South Bend is helping pave the way. IFT is providing paint, chemical conversion coatings, and non-destructive testing services for NASA's Space Launch System and Orion spacecraft, which will deliver astronauts to the moon and possibly Mars. Help make it happen by joining the Imagineering Finishing Technologies team at iftww.com career. For over 100 years, experience and inspiration have been the foundation of Big C Lumber. I'm Mark Young. Deciding on the perfect cabinetry for your home can be overwhelming. It's best to depend on our consultants with decades of experience at Big C Lumber. Your needs and wishes will be matched with our guidance in the creation of new spaces. We call this customer-inspired design. Representing your personality, your style. Visit Big C Lumber, where the possibilities are endless. Your car carries precious cargo. It needs to be dependable, rain or shine. Let Tom's Car Care Center in South Bend help take the stress out of your car's maintenance. We'll change your oil in 10 minutes, flush your transmission, replace your wiper blades, and much more. Oil changes include a half-price car wash when needed. Welcome to your extended family, Tom's Car Care Center. St. Joe has won the toss and deferred, so Marion will receive. St. Joe's opening kickoff will be sponsored by K2 Power Solutions, and our first quarter being brought to us by Peter Horvath Law. The Horvath family is all in on Marion. Prescott, number 69, is Marion's starting tackle. Waikela, Atticus, and Jackson are all Marion grads. Their dad, Peter, wants to set up their future and your future of your kids. He's a local lawyer specializing in estate planning. Prepare your family future by contacting Peter Horvath Law today. Ryder Place does the kicking for St. Joe and he'll be kicking against this 10 mile an hour win and as the Knights line up back deep they've got Deuce Owens on one side and Quinn Roan on the other. That gives us a chance to check on tonight's uniforms and what the teams are wearing. Brought to you by It's Tops in Mishawaka. St. Joe, they're wearing the black helmets with the white jersey and black pants. Marion's wearing the blue helmets, blue jersey, blue pants. And if you want to help your team look great, It's Tops can help. They are the official outfitter of a number of local schools and even Sports Michiana. And they can do a lot more than just clothes. Learn more at itstops.net. The 64th edition of Michiana's Great Catholic Rivalry is underway with a spinning pooch kick fair catch called by Braxton Brooks at his own 32. A little bit of contact, but nothing that drew a flag. And that's where Marion will begin with the football with Lucas Marr as their quarterback. He is a 5'10", 178-pound junior, completing 50% of his passes for 359 yards and three touchdowns. 
new offensive coordinator this year for Marion, and that is the head coach, Michael Davidson. His previous OC, Brett Badek, went down to John Glenn. Michael had to assume the offensive coordinator duties last year anyway when Brett's dad, John, got a little bit sick. And so he has slid into that role, and we'll see how he does. Lucas Marr lining up with Ryan Osmond, number two, just to his left. Marion had some injuries to its offensive line in its last game with Adams, and it might show up a little bit here as Osmond is stopped for a gain of one on his first carry. And we meet the Marion starting lineup. It's brought to us tonight by Marion High School. Lucas Marr with Brian Osmond in the backfield. Deuce Owens and Braxton Brooks bring some electricity to the wide receivers section. Preston Shue gets the start tonight for the injured all-conference center Giovanni Garcia de la Torre and Caden Lee in for the injured John Dubosch. Second and nine. Marr wants to throw and gets rid of it to Braxton Brooks for a first down sponsored by Marion High School up at the St. Joe 48. That's a pickup of 20. Great first down look right up the middle to Brooks. Brooks coming across the middle wide open. Hit him right on the numbers. Great job picking up that first down sponsored by Marion High School. Now Marr will operate from the gun with nobody in the backfield. Three receivers to his right, two to his left. Gain of 20 and a first down for the Knights. Long count by Marr. And we've got a whistle and a flag timeout called by Marion. We'll take it as well. It's sponsored by DeWald Fluid Power. 11.03 to go. First quarter, you're watching high school football on Sports Michigan. High school football fans, welcome back to Friday night. To Pure Spirits. To Pure Sports. Welcome back to high school football. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back! This is Friday night. This is Indiana High School Football. This is your IHSAA. Your car carries precious cargo. We come back to live action here at Atulski Field. First and 10 from the 48 for Marion. They're in St. Joe territory after a 20-yard completion to Braxton Brooks. Brian Osmond, the man in motion. St. Joe coming on a blitz. They hit Marr, but not before he completes the pass out in the flat and some nifty running. We also have a flag on the play. The pass was to the H-back, Aiden Hansen, but hold on. It's a downfield hold called. And I believe it's going to be called on Marion. Yeah, it's one of those when they're thrown downfield. You see the offensive guy. Here you can see on the J-Mill packaging replay. Looks like it was kind of out of the play and away from it. It doesn't have a lot to do with the play, but again, it's a foul and sort of right around the area, so they're going to call it. It's far enough downfield that it basically sets up a first and nine for Marion. So they wind up getting a yard out of the transaction, but... Again, Lost the, some valuable field position. Yeah, the holding call is from the spot that it was. The infraction took place, which was just past the uh, first down marker. On first and nine, it's Osmond trying to go up the middle. Owen Balin brings him down. That gives us a perfect opportunity to meet the St. Joe defense being brought to us tonight by Carlton Incorporated. Max Aronowski having a great season up at the outside linebacker spot. Kobe Otto, Owen Balant, the heartbeat of that defense. And then in the secondary, Jack Haig made the big game-saving tackle last week in the 7-0 shutout of New Prairie. We'll talk about that shutout coming up here a little bit later on this opening drive. Right now it's 2nd and eight. Osmond 
Osmond again, the lone back. Balant coming on a blitz. Osmond did a good job picking him up, and Mark completes it up to Braxton Brooks. He gets up to the 33-yard line for another first down sponsored by Marion High School. That was just a great job of evading the rush by Balant on the blitz, getting outside Mark being able to get outside and find Brooks up the field. I mean, it looks like they're going to go to the pass early and often here in this first drive. Well, they have a lot of confidence in their receivers. Michael Davidson told us before the game he felt like if they could get their playmakers into space, they could have a pretty good night offensively. It's first and 10 from the 33. And they give it to Brooks on a jet sweep trying to get around the outside. And a flag comes in because there was a big-time hold by Marion there. You could see the jersey of Luke Short being tugged by a Marion player. Uh, It was Short getting that leverage to the outside. What Coach Downey talked about, his defense needed to get the leverage outside to stop that sweeps and stop from getting outside. He had great position, but the Marion offensive lineman just uh, decided to pull him down on that. This has been a problem for the Knights early in the season. They have been a little bit self-destructive with these kind of mental mistakes. Reminder, coming up at halftime will be our Student Athletes of the Week, presented by Tony Letcher. Tony is a lifelong resident of Michigan and a licensed insur- insurance agent with Health Markets. If you need insurance, Tony is your guy. Google Tony Letcher Health Markets to connect. So it is now first and 20 from the 43. And again, it's Marr lined up in the shotgun. He'll give it off to Osmond, who tries to go up the middle, picks up about two or three yards that time. St. Joe had Diamond Curry coming in on the tackle. And the St. Joe defense posting that shutout last week against New Prairie. That is a rare goose egg for this St. Joe team. The factoids tonight being brought to you by Andrew Weiss with the Knights of Columbus. That shutout was just their sixth in the last ten years. Well, not only that, New Prairie getting shut out. That was only the fourth time, I believe, in the last like 13 or 14 yeah. years, and two of those were Penn shutting them out. Which is a little bit different story yeah. than a <laughs> yeah. 4A school doing it. Marr, pump fakes, fires over the head of Jack Dirrell and incomplete. Dirrell was covered nicely that time and by Jack Haig, and it'll be third down and long for Marion. A little bit different story than a 4A school. You'll see it again here on the J-Mill packaging replay as the throw just a little bit too high for Dirrell. A little contact downfield, but not too much right at contact. Maybe a little before. Third down, they got to get to the 23. Braxton Brooks in motion. They put him in the slot. Marr fires too far for Brooks. It's incomplete, fourth down, and we'll see what Michael Davidson decides to do here. He's going to send his punt unit on and try to play the field position game. St. Joe High School provides an award-winning and affordable Catholic education that prepares students for both college and career. With the recent expansion of school choice, tuition is more affordable than ever. Join the pack and become a Husky by visiting stjoehigh.com. So a punting situation here for the Marion Knights. And it looks like Mason Simonowski, the 6'2 junior, will come on, punt it away to the side, and Simonowski sees that one roll into the end zone for a touchback. So only a 20-yard net. And now St. Joe will take over for its first possession of the night from its own 20-yard line. And that means they'll have coming out at quarterback the sophomore A.J. Lassane. And this is a very interesting story here, Bo, from the standpoint his brother Bryce has been the quarterback for Marion in the last couple of Holy Wars. And now he's on the other side playing quarterback. Yeah, I mean, very interesting. uh, But it was a choice that A.J. made. Uh, I remember talking to his dad, Marcus, and he uh, made the choice to go to St. Joe. He felt that's where a lot of his friends were going. And we see that a lot with uh, this Marion-St. Joe rivalry. A lot of friends, when they're in middle school, will kind of congregate towards the other ones in each of these schools. Brady Loniger is the running back. He takes the handoff and goes up the middle for a four-yard pickup. Loniger has been 
the second leading rusher for this St. Joe team and the St. Joe starting lineup on offense brought to us by our friends at Place Builders. Along that running back area, Loniger splits times with Franco Biffle. The receivers for the St. Joe Huskies, well, you've got Brayson Hurley leading the way with 18 receptions this year, but Dallas Downey has been effective as well. Along the offensive line, Dakota Ditch and Lonnie Curse, a pair of seniors, are the tone setters for Ben Downey's squad. Four-yard pickup, that leaves a second and six. The throw by Lassane is snared out in the flat, but it's for a loss of two as Dallas Downey is corralled right away by the Marion defense. Good job by Marion and Cooper Suth defending that one, and let's meet that Marion defense right now. Caleb Johnson with three sacks having a heck of a year. The linebacking core led up by the all-conference Joe Boone, and in the secondary, Braden Smith with 41 tackles and two interceptions. It was a loss of two on the play on the reception by Downey, and that leaves a third and eight for the Huskies. Again, Lassane from the gun, rolls to his right, fires in the flat, and it's a little too far for his intended receiver. He was trying to hit James Crenitti, but couldn't make the connection, and it's a three and out for St. Joe on its opening possession. Tonight's factoids are being brought to you by Andrew Weiss of Knights of Columbus. Andrew wants you to know this important factoid that many may not realize, that the Knights of Columbus do Catholic investments and comprehensive financial planning. Let Andrew Weiss be your guide. Learn more at andrewweisskofc.com. Ryder Place averages almost 40 yards a kick, but he's going into a pretty steady wind right here. Braxton Brooks is the deep man for Marion. Back at his 25, and that kick is partially blocked. The kick partially blocked by Caleb Johnson, and it rolls dead at the 37. Excellent field position for the Marion Knights. Special teams does it again for Marion. Gets a little bit of that. There you can see on the J. Mill Packaging replay, setting up this great field position to start their second possession. So Marion gets to take over in plus territory at the Husky 36-yard line, looking at a first and ten. Reminder, our first quarter is sponsored by Peter Horvath Law. It'll be Lucas Marr at quarterback. Again, Brian Osman just off to his right. Marr threw for 149 yards in the win last week against Adams, but here he hands it off to Osman, and Osman manages to put down his head and get four yards. But so far it's been tough going in the running game without those two big hosses, Garcia De La Torre and Dubash, in there in front of that Marion offensive line. Yeah, and they're going to have to get the running game going because right now they're just almost a full-out blitz coming at them, trying to put the pressure on Marr at quarterback, trying to make him get rid of the ball a little bit faster than he can. But he, he is getting time up there. You know, you got the big old Hor- Horvath on the left tackle there, and he's really holding up his end. And then running backs picking up the blitz, giving him just enough time to get rid of it to Brooks the last two times for first downs. St. Joe used a variety of blitzes last week against New Prairie to keep the Cougars off balance. Osman wanted a timeout. Instead, he turns around, takes the handoff, and picks up about two yards. There was all kinds of confusion in the backfield that time. At Marion High School, we live by our motto, learn, serve, lead. Discover a curriculum that fosters academic excellence, service opportunities that make a difference, and leadership training that empowers. Join us to grow in faith and character. Visit marionhs.org to learn more. It's third and a short five for Marion. The ball between the 30 and the 31, they have to get to the 26. Hansen in motion. It's Osman up the middle. He's got the first down and more all the way down to the 21-yard line. A quick hitter there for a first down sponsored by Marion High School and a pickup of nine. You'll see it again on the J. Mill packaging replay. Great job of really just keeping it on the ground, trying to get this ground game going. You can see Big Hole is able to get right up through the middle. Great job of just moving guys out of the way. When a defense is aggressive like that, 
your ability just to get in front of them and let their body just move them. You don't have to push them out of the way. You just got to guide them out of the way, and they're going to open up holes. And that's what Mark Washington did that time. Now some crossbuck action. Osmond delayed going through the hole, but that was a good move as he's able to pick up five before Diamond Curry, the transfer from Clay, brings him down, and Curry lost his helmet on the play, so he's going to have to come off the field. K2 Power Solutions in South Bend is proud to help power tonight's broadcast. Led by a highly skilled team of diverse professionals, K2 Power Solutions is Michiana's new home for your industrial and commercial electrical service needs. Go St. Joe from K2 Power Solutions. Pickup of six on the play. Osmond now up to 25 yards on seven carries. And Marion has kept it on the ground this series, but they have trips to the right of Marr. It's Osman again, and he is hit down on a beautiful blitz that time. Coming through and filling the hole was Austin Radigan, the 6'3", 205-pound junior. Here's another look on the J. Mill packaging replay. Yeah, it just came right across the offensive line there on the slant. Was able to come in and come right at the play. Pushed him all the way back to the 19-yard line. To set up a third and seven. Loss of three brings up third down and seven for the night. Now let's see if Marion goes back to having Marr throw. He had some success on the first series, was two out of four. Brooks in motion comes to his left. And a whistle. Looks like a false start here on the left side. Yep. And another penalty, penalty that comes back and haunts the Knights here. The Dices of Fort Wayne South Bend Catholic Schools is proud of both Marion and St. Joe High School and the opportunities they both provide families in developing their children, spirituality, and academically. The Catholic Schools office also thanks families for choosing Catholic schools. This year's enrollment was up by nearly 4%. They are our sideline sponsor tonight, so we appreciate their support. Third and eleven. Again, St. Joe showing blitz, but they back out of it. Marr runs out of time, and down he goes. The sack comes in from the outside with Kobe Addo, his third sack of the year. Just got to get rid of that a little bit quicker. He was waiting on some deeper throws downfield. It's one of those you got to pick up just eight yards at that point, pick up the first down, but big sack by St. Joe. Instead, it's fourth down from the 28. Marion does not have a kicker who can boot a 45-yard field goal, so instead they'll send out Mason Simonowski to try to pin St. Joe deep in its own territory. Simonowski tries to pooch it towards the goal line, but it rolls into the end zone for the touchback. And St. Joe will get it at the 20, only an eight-yard pickup on that punt. Yeah, on that situation right there, I know he was trying to go for the corner, but don't miss the corner in that situation. Try to put it out about the five-yard line. Hey, if you're upgrading your window treatments, hey, don't DIY it. Call Quality Window Treatments with free in-person consultations, design help, and local installation. There's no guesswork required. Visit QualityWindowTreatment.com and see your space in a whole new light. It was a three and out on the first possession for St. Joe. We'll see what the Huskies can do here. Lassane only a 5'10 sophomore. And this time they line up in an I formation, at least for now. Mason Kazmerzak is the H-back or fullback. But it's Loniger who takes the handoff, and he is stymied right away. Marion came on a little run blitz that time and threw a surprise party. Yeah, they did a great job of coming up. Looked like Longinger slipped just a little bit, trying to make a cut right before the contact. Here you can see the pressure. Oh, he looked like his own guy got back into him. Got pushed back a little bit. And Joe Boone was more than happy to finish him off for a loss of three. Locally owned and going back four generations, Place Homes in South Bend has a team of players, architects, and designers ready to work for you on your building your dream home. Visit placehomes.net for more information. Place homes, building homes, not houses. Go St. Joe. Lassane wants to throw, but the pass knocked down by the oncoming defensive lineman Eric Logan, the big six-foot senior, knocks it down at the line of scrimmage. It'll be third and long. 
Batted down by Eric Logan. Watch Logan just shove his man away and then bull rush the poor running back who had to try to pick him up. Great look on the J Mill packaging replay as you see things from the Marion sideline looking out on a Tulski field. It's third down and 13 for the Huskies. Again, a blitz coming. Lassane throws out in the flat, and it's almost intercepted. It wound up being more of a defensive play by the wide receiver to just knock it away. Yeah, it looked like it's just a little high on the throw, more of a knockdown from the offensive player than anything. Not sure he would have been even at the first. He was right at the first down marker, but it would have been a little short anyways. And right now, Lassane's 5'10 status seems to be giving him a little bit of difficulty at quarterback being able to get the ball out over the on-rushing lineman. So it's a kick now, a punt sponsored by K2 Power Solutions. Ryder Place had the first one partially blocked. Let's see if he tries to kick it away from Braxton Brooks, who is all the way down by the Marion sideline. Instead, Place just hits a duck snort out of there, but it takes a St. Joe roll. It's still going to be in St. Joe territory at the 48-yard line. That's a 31-yard kick with no return. And again, Marion takes over in plus field position. Yeah, great field position again here for Marion to start on their third drive. J-Mill Packaging in Mishawaka is always rooting for Jack Darrell in Marion High School. Founded in 1973, Jamil Packaging is one of the nation's leading box and packaging manufacturers. If you need custom packages, visit boxpackaging.com. We appreciate J-Mill's support. Had a chance to chat briefly with Jack Darrell before the game. First and ten from the 48. For the Knights, Lucas Marr has been the starter for Marion at quarterback in every game this year, but Mitchell Fimble has had time taking snaps in every game so far. Hand off to Osmond, and again, he's shut down at the line of scrimmage. St. Joe really looking for the run tonight, and they've played it pretty well for the most part. Marion's about the only one that's been able to really move the ball here for some positive yards and pick up some first down. Not sure. St. Joe even have a first down? Not yet. Not yet. Lonnie Kearse was in on the stop that time for a one-yard gain for Osmond. Osmond already with nine carries here in the first quarter. But that one was for no gain. Hansen, the H-back, sets up in the slot to block for Osman, and Osman is caught from behind as he tried to spin off the block. There had been great penetration by St. Joe's Luke Short on the outside, and he was able to come back and get him. Yeah, they're really just clogging up that middle on the outside. Exterior defensive end guys are really containing and clamping down and coming down on that, so Marion's unable to get it up in the hole and then bounce it outside like they have in the past. You look at Michael Davidson on the Marion sideline looking for his 50th career win tonight. This is his seventh season as head coach after a long run as defensive coordinator. On third and eight. Bad snap. Marr gets rid of it quickly. Braxton Brooks tries to jitterbug his way through people and he's gotten around to the outside. Look out. Brooks with a wall in front of him has the first down and more, but there's a flag down in the middle of the field. Hold everything. As soon as he started to cut back, you can't see up here, but I pointed down. I saw the crackback blocks coming and his ability with his speed here. You can see right here, cut it back. All the blocks are coming right here. Get away from that one. Got to the outside, but unfortunately, there's a little, looks like it was a crack block that they called. This is a rule that was put into high school football about four or five years ago. It's for the safety of the players because on plays like this, it's very easy for defensive players to get blindsided. It's not a clip. The hit happens in front, but as you described in our game last week, Bo, your instinct tells you, oh, this is a great hit to get. It's the wrong play, though. Yeah, because it's a defenseless defenseless receivers what they call it or player in the nfl on the receiving end it's somebody that doesn't see what's happening from that side because they're pursuing the ball at a different angle and it just it's just one of those things where it's always been kind of that play where 
kids look to have that play, really strive to have that play, but now it's an illegal play, and again, safety reasons. Three penalties for 20 yards for Marion. They've all been really costly. Here's Osmond. He got the five yards back, but it'll be fourth down and a punting situation, and we'll see if Marion tries to hurry to get this punt off before they lose the wind at the end of the quarter. Imaginary finishing technologies in South Bend is a longtime supporter of high school athletes. They're also helping NASA and astronauts get back to the moon. Want to help? Learn more and join Imaginary and Finishing Technologies team at iftww.com backslash careers. Michael Davidson is content to let the quarter expire, and the first quarter has come to an end here at Bob Atulski Field in Mishawaka with Marion and St. Joe trading big defensive plays so far. There's been very little offense in the first quarter. Nothing, nothing in the 64th Holy War on Sports Michiana. Your car carries precious cargo. It needs to be dependable, rain or shine. Let Tom's Car Care Center in South Bend help take the stress out of your car's maintenance. We'll change your oil in 10 minutes, plus your transmission, replace your wiper blades, and much more. Oil changes include a half-price car wash when needed. Welcome to your extended family, Tom's Car Care Center. Your garage door keeps your home, family, and valuables safe and secure. Make sure it always looks good and works well. Precision Garage Door is your one-stop shop for design, installation, and repairs. Count on us to help you choose the right materials, style, and color for your new door. And when you need repairs, we're ready. Our friendly trained technicians work around your schedule and are available 24-7 for emergency repairs. Call your local Precision Garage Door today. Garage Door's done right. And this edition of the Sports Michigan High School Football Game of the Week being brought to you in part by TireRack.com, the way tire buying should be. We'll get it down to Ange for a sideline report after this punt by Marion to start the second quarter, a second quarter being brought to us by Frick's Dairy Queen. Mason Simonowski on for his third boot of the game, and this one goes straight up the elevator chute. Everybody for St. Joe had to get away. It takes a Marion roll, goes out of bounds at the 26. We go down for our first diocese of Fort Wayne South Bend Catholic School sideline report. Here's Angelo DiCarlo. I, get, I think this game's going as advertised, right? Low scoring affair. It's coming down to the special teams early on. And if anything is more evidence of these coaches realizing that every yard matters is Michael Davidson's decision to punt the ball at the 28-yard line. You know, obviously I'm sure he wanted to get more than net eight yards on that punt, but thinking, hey, if we do pin them back, we can get them inside the five, inside the ten, that bodes well for our defense in that regard. So every yard, every play is going to matter in this game as we expected what should be a low-scoring game here in the Holy War. Chuck and Bo, back up to you. All right, thanks a lot, Anj. And to that regard, St. Joe played the entire first quarter without getting a first down. We'll see if that changes here. Franco Biffle, the new running back, for St. Joe, but it's Lassane throwing the catch made by Dallas Downey, and he takes it up to the 33-yard line, the second grab for Downey tonight, Then it sets up a second down and four for St. Joe. Hey, Chuck, we have breaking news. Frick's Dairy Queen on South Michigan Street. Hey, they're bringing back the incredible French silk pie and pumpkin pie blizzards. Tell me more. That's Frick's Dairy Queen located at 3907 Michigan Street on South Bend's South Side and go Marion. Second and four. Two receivers off to the right of A.J. Lassane. But Lassane looks left, it's Downey again, and he's got the first first down of the night for St. Joe up to the 38-yard line. Just a little pitch and catch for six yards. Same play as last one. Yeah, same exact play, and I think they're trying to set something up here, maybe future down the line. Not sure they're going to run a, a pump and go right here, but I'm sure that's working into a play later on. They're going to go back to that play a couple more times maybe and then hit that pump and go where they fake that, get the defender to bite on it, and then go deep. And yes, Dallas Downey is the son of Ben Downey, the St. Joe head coach. He's also a member of the baseball team. Here comes the blitz. It was timed well by Boom, but they get it to the outside. And look out, Clee Kimbrough has a first down before he...
Ball on the ground. Again, Mason Sim Again, Mason Simonowski on. On to kick. Precision Garage. Precision Garage. As he made.
of good things, really. My whole life is at Notre Dame Carnegie Union. I will remain with them until the day I die. It's one unique, one special vibe. Found Build, renovate.
second over end kick. Butsumsi drops it at the six, picks it up at the 12, and is in trouble. Wiggles his way out to the 17-yard line, but it will not be a good field position for St. Joe for the final 404 of the half. A big thank you to Bruno's Pizza at River Park on Mishawaka Avenue for feeding our wonderful crew tonight. Stop in, take out, or get delivery from Bruno's Pizza. Best pizza in town since 1975, and go Knights. First and 10 from the 40-yard line, or excuse me, not the 40. That's what it says on the scoreboard from the 17-yard line. And Marion with a 7-0 lead. We'll see if A.J. Lassane can bounce back here after the interception. St. Joe continues to air it out. He was able to hit Hurley that time, and Hurley gets hit quite a bit after a pickup of six. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union is the financial institution of choice for Sports Michiana, plus hundreds of churches and schools. Link your Elevate credit or debit card, and your nonprofit earns 1% cash back. Go to NotreDameFCU.com backslash Elevate to learn more. You'll notice the helmets of the St. Joe linemen all look different than the skill position players. That's because they're all wearing these concussion caps to trying to help prevent from head injuries out there. High snap, Lassane in the flat to Dallas Downey, but he has nowhere to go as he's corralled at the 25-yard line, finished off by Joe Boone after he was held up by Nick Quiet. A lot of head contact inside the trenches that people don't realize. It's just the repeated over and over hands to the helmet, shoulder pads, hitting the helmets. It's just that little extra padding that they're trying to give. And they, they don't like to have those for the skill position players because then it's kind of a false sense of security. And then a lot of times they'll drop their head and use their head since they think they have a little bit of extra padding. And you saw how dangerous that was in the NFL game on Thursday night for Tua Tagovailoa of the Dolphins. Third and three. And the throw from Lassane out into the flat, and that's a first down for St. Joe as they were able to get outside to Brady Loniker. But the big play of this one so far has been the pick six by Caleb Johnson. We'll give you one more look from J-Mill Packaging. This was on St. Joe's last drive. Ball bat in the air. Johnson was able to corral it and race 73 yards for the score. And that's how Marion has grabbed the 7-0 lead. Now with two and a half minutes to go here in the first half after St. Joe just picked up a first down on the pass to Loniker. Lassane again stops, throws, Hurley the catch, trying to wrestle away from people, and the rugby scrum takes him down to about the 39-yard line to pick up a five on the play. A big thank you to Lilliard Insurance Agent for their work in helping Sports Michiana get all its insurance needs. Real people, real service, real value. That's their slogan. But Matt Lilliard and his teams also live it every single day. Visit realvalueins.com to get the personal touch you deserve from Lilliard Insurance Agent. Clock stopped there as the officials wanted to check on Brayson Hurley. They deem he's okay, and they start the clock again as we hit two minutes to go before halftime. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll have our Tony Letcher Student Athletes of the Week, our St. Joe County Police Halftime Report, and Anj will have interviews with the sidelines from some people from both schools involved in this great rivalry. Lassane fires. Hartley couldn't hold on to that one, and he nearly flipped into the hands of a defensive back. Pass to Hurley incomplete. Respect, loyalty, pride, courage, integrity, and dedication. Those are the many ways officers at the St. Joe County Police are serving our community. If you are looking for a career change that can really make a difference, visit sjcpd.org to learn more. So third and four from the 40. Back to the 40 yard line. It's third down and four for St. Joe. Hurley off to the right. Kimbrough and Downey to the left. 
Lassane looks right, fires, and Hurley was held that time by Quinn Roan, and the flag will come in. Reminder, our second quarter is brought to you by Fritz Dairy Queen. Get in there and get their pumpkin blizzard. Six penalties now against Marion, and that'll be 55 yards in penalties once this 15-yarder is marked off. That'll take St. Joe in tonight's territory at the 45-yard line. Pass interference call against tonight. That was a pretty easy call for the crew because Roan had Hurley around the arms. Very easy call in that situation. <laughs> Don't forget, next week on Sports Michiana, we'll be with you from Interra Field in Middlebury. Northwood and Northridge and Northern Lakes Conference action. We'll have the pregame for you at 645, the kickoff at 7 on your home for high school sports, Sports Michiana. First and 10 from the 45. Lassane wants to throw, lobs it up there, and it is intercepted. Quinn Roan. Roan trying to weave his way through traffic. Roan serpentining across to Tulski Field. Holding. A holding call against Marion will bring part of this back. Roan finally goes down at the 41. Actually, two flag and a third flag comes in really, really late. We also have a St. Joe player down on the field, one of their linemen, but I think he's just gassed from running all over the field. Uh, they're moving that flag that came in late over by where he was down on the ground. There will be a lot to sort out here. Definitely but in the meantime, A.J. Lassane with his second interception in the quarter. Yeah, we definitely saw the holding call here, but something that after the play ended, so it might be a dead ball foul as well personal foul after the play quite the interception by Roan that ball just hung up in the air forever and Roan was able to get position and get in front of Brace and Hurley the intended receiver but now this officiating crew has to sort out all the laundry that they dropped on the field While they do that, we'll tell you planning and preparation are important in life. When it comes to estate planning, Peter Horvath Law will get you prepared. If you need a will, trust, living will, power of attorney, Peter's ready to advise and support you in protecting your assets and passing them on to your family. Learn more at PeterHorvathLaw.com, and he says, go Knights. Of course, the Horvaths say go Knights. I would expect nothing less. Exactly. Tried to give the crew more time to figure it out. Michael Davidson wants to know who all the penalties are on. <laughs> I don't know that Michael's got enough arms to indicate. We got a holding call that happened at the 49, a personal foul that happened at the 47, and another personal foul against St. Joe that happened at the 36. And I believe the one at the 36, they gave it a dead ball. So the first two during the play. So I think that's what they're trying to figure out. Boy, this is like a Jenga puzzle right now. As they try to get this one sorted out. It's tempting to throw it down to Angelo DiCarlo just to let him solve it. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure he knows exactly what's going on down there. I mean, there. Angelo, you're sponsored by the Diocese of Fort Wayne South Bend Catholic Schools. I'm sure there's something in the curriculum that helps with this, isn't there? That Yeah, oh, I'm sure, definitely. <laughs> you know, totally, totally on top of everything of what's happening on this play. And whatever happens, whatever the officials decide, ultimately that was what happened on the play. <laughs> Thank you. Thank hey, you for the clarity. Hey, yeah. uh, Ange, I really like that shirt down there. Where can somebody get a shirt like that? You know, you like the It's Tops Sports Michiana shirt. Look at that. Very looking very good. If you go to our Facebook page, go on the side, go into the website, click on it. We got the link to it, and you can purchase a shirt, uh, help support Sports Michiana that way, and you can look good in the process. That's the most important part. Not just shirts, right? Caps, tumblers? Yeah, you get hats. You can get tumblers. You can get... You can get a lot of different things. Uh, sweatshirts. I heard some people have already ordered sweatshirts. So there are going to be people walking around town with gear that you and I, Chuck, don't have. So we might have to purchase stuff ourselves. Ooh, that goes against the credo. <laughs> <laughs> Big thank you to It's Tops for sponsoring our 
crew gear and our shirts that we have and our jackets that we have. Just a great job of really getting us stuff in a timely fashion as well. It was quick turnaround and got it to us and looked great in it. Mark Gardner and his crew have been terrific on that. The officials are getting their steps in right now as they mark off the two penalties against Marion. And now, don't they have to go back the other way for the St. Joe penalty or no? Oh, they'll just set it down there at the 23-yard line. Michael Davidson still isn't done trying to get the explanation on this with 117 left in the first half. It sounds like it was a holding and then two personal foul penalties all on Marion is what we're hearing from the sideline. Well, that's not the indication that he gave when and he pointed. maybe it's not, but yeah. that's what the very coaches seem to think on the sideline anyway. So, I'm not sure Michael Davidson's a believer Well, right that now. might be yeah. why there's the confusion, because everyone's hearing different things. Oh. Michael trying to sort this out. Let's take a quick 30-second timeout. Be back from Atulski Field after this. You're, well, well, never mind. We'll just watch the Quinn Roan replay here. See if we can pick up some of these fouls. There's one. There's the hold right there. That's very easy to see. Where the personal fouls occurred are beyond where the camera shot was. So let's go back to live action. First and 10 from the 23-yard line for Marion. It's own 23, but they do get the ball after the turnover. Lucas Marr looks to throw. Braxton Books makes the catch, steps out of bounds to stop the clock at the 29-yard line, a pickup of six for Brooks. Great job of awareness of getting out of bounds right there. Save your timeouts. Still have three. Both teams have three. Brooks has all three of the catches tonight for Marion for 40 yards. Lucas Marr, three out of six, tossing the ball. Remember, Marion... Took the opening kickoff of this game. So St. Joe will get the ball back to start the second half. But still time for the Knights to drive down the field here. Marr steps into the pocket, now flushed out of it. Fires into the flat and has his man, Jack Darrell, and he's got room to run. Darrell down the sidelines. Darrell finally brought down at the 18. Huge pickup here in the late second quarter wow great job of getting the ball upfield mar to deer deer roll deer roll breaking the tackle getting upfield pick picking up the marion high school first down getting them inside the red zone and after a 53 yard pickup marion takes time out with 58.5 seconds left back after this 30 second timeout on sports michigan Are you tired of auto service from big box stores and new car dealers? 45 years ago, my parents, Bud and Diane, founded Zolman's with a strong commitment to the community. Today, Zolman's Best One Tire and Auto Care is still family owned and operated with over 150 employees and families. And we offer a price match guarantee on any tires from any local dealer while providing complete auto service on all makes and all models. Serving you and your family for three generations. Buy local, shop local. Zolman's Best One Tire and Auto Care. And this edition of the Sports Michiana Game of the Week being brought to you in part by Reliance. Design, build, renovate. The timeout for Marion sponsored by DeWald Fluid Power. It is a first and ten. Here we go, first and ten, Marion. From the 18-yard line. The 18-yard line. Marr in the flat. It's Darrell again, and he'll take it on up to the 12-yard line, a pickup of six on the play. Well, let's take another look at the big play here by Jack Darrell on the 53-yard pass from Lucas Marr, and Marr brought him some time with his scrambling, and then Darrell broke one tackle and was off to the races. We'll have to break out of the replay here, come back to live action on second and four. Marr in the flat. Touchdown, Marion! The Knights take it on in for the score with Terrence Lane Jr. on the touchdown, and it's 13-0. Great job. Great route. Marr hitting him on the slant route, getting underneath the defender, getting in the end zone. Big score here for the Marion Knights, sponsored by Marion 
products. They have turned both interceptions into touchdowns. One with the pick six, and then one after all the penalties, taking it down the field for a 77-yard touchdown drive in the final two minutes of the first half. Lucas Primrose is on to try the extra point out of the hold of Mitchell Fimble. The snap and kick are both good. And with 26 seconds to go before halftime, it's a 14-0 Marion lead as you get another look at the touchdown pass from Chris Skibby's camera. And Lane, sometimes the forgotten receiver yeah. on this team. So much attention is given to Deuce Owens and Braxton Brooks, Brooks and Jack Darrell. But here's Terrence Lane Jr., who's very capable, running a nice little route and doing it to perfection. I, I really like how Marr has been able to, Lucas Marr has been able to look for different receivers and understands he's got multiple weapons out there. It doesn't have to look just one way. And again, ability to scramble just a little bit by Lucas, getting to the outside, picking up the touchdown there for Marion Knights. So it's a 14-0 Marion lead with 26 seconds to go here before halftime. And Marion has really turned the tenor of this game around in the final four minutes of the first half because you had St. Joe apparently poised to take the lead down at about the Marion 21-yard line, certainly within field goal range of Ryder Place. But instead, the pick six and then another pick back in Marion territory sets up the Knights for this drive. Again, the defense really set up the offense twice. Well, once they scored for the offense, and the second one, the big pick, getting great field position. Of course, they did come back from all those penalties, but the big pickup by Jack Darrell to picking up that big first down and getting down inside the 20. Kickoff taken by St. Joe and weaving his way through traffic and getting down to about the 31-yard line is Ryan Ruskowski. And Ruskowski will set up St. Joe for the last 19 seconds of the half. ...to drive, so in this situation, probably just going to take a knee and uh, go ahead and head it into the half. And obviously, if you're even a Marion fan, you have to have concern right now because twice so far this season, the Knights have had leads going into the second half only to see them slip away in the final two quarters. Yeah, and I think that's one of the things they will talk about at halftime, and I think they made that adjustment last week as well, but they will discuss it, and here it looks like the victory formation they call it but going into half and not victory yet perhaps in the holy war more appropriate to say he genuflex behind the center and that will do it for the first half of play from Atulski field and we get ready to go downstairs for a diocese of fort wayne south bend catholic schools sideline report but angelo de carlo has michael davidson in his sights go ahead Ange. First, Michael Davidson wants to have a word with the officials, so we'll buy a little time here. Remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll have our St. Joe County Police Halftime Report and our Tony Letcher Student Athletes of the Week, sponsored by Tony Letcher and Health Markets. Plus, Ange will have a chance to chat with some of the luminaries here at the 64th Annual Holy War of the Gridiron and maybe even have a chance to talk to a special guest from the diocese as well. Michael Davidson continuing to chat with the officials about those three flags on the interception play and trying to get that sorted out. You see him there talking to, I believe Roger Griffiths is our white hat tonight. And they're still trying to get all that sorted out. The other thing he's doing is buying a little more time for his team to get to the locker room. Okay, Mike's available. Here you go, Ange. All right, Coach. Uh, outstanding end to the half. Testing your 40 time, yeah. Uh, outstanding end to the half, especially from your defense. Uh, tell us about how much of a spark they gave you there. Uh, defense played well all, all, all half long. Um, they, they, we, we put them in a, uh, a couple of bad spots by not cashing in when we should have offensively. 
Um, uh, defense played well all, all game long. We're going to hear from Caleb Johnson here as our student athlete of the week presented by Tony Letcher, but tell us a little bit about him on the field and off the field. Obviously a huge touchdown from him. He's got to get in better shape. Um, he, he had to be out for about the next four or five plays, so I think we got some extra sprints coming uh, next week. But uh, there, there's not a, 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 a bad word that can come out of my mouth about Caleb. Um, he, he can babysit my kids. He can tutor anybody and everybody. Um, he's he's going to be a, a great father, human being. Uh, whatever he ends up doing in life, he's going to be a hell of a lot more successful than me. Coach, thank you very much. All right, thank, thank you. Best of luck in the second half. Chuck and Bo, back up to you, and it'll be great to hear from Caleb coming up momentarily. Michael Davidson's got jokes going into <laughs> halftime. He's also got a lead, 14-0 at the break. Tony Letcher, Health Market Student Athletes are next on Sports Michigan. Medicare plans can be confusing, but they don't have to be. I'm Tony Letcher, licensed insurance agent. I can help you compare your options because I'm appointed with many nationally recognized carriers. With my help, you can find the coverage that fits your needs and budget. I don't want you to be my client today. I want you to be my client forever. Call Tony Ledger today to schedule your free consultation or visit tledger.com. Are you tired of auto service from big box stores and new car dealers? 45 years ago, my parents, Bud and Diane, founded Zolman's with a strong commitment to the community. Today, Zolman's Best One Tire and Auto Care is still family owned and operated with over 150 employees and families. And we offer a price match guarantee on any tires from any local dealer while providing complete auto service on all makes and all models. Serving you and your family for three generations. Buy local, shop local. Zolman's Best One Tire and Auto Care. Founded in 2001 by brothers Sam and Levi, Reliance has built a reputation for excellence, providing high-quality home building and renovation services to the Michiana area. From single-room renovations like kitchens and bathrooms to building your dream home from the ground up, everything benefits from their decades of experience. From concept to completion, Reliance makes even the largest projects simple and hassle-free. To find out more, visit ReliancedBR.net. Reliance. Design. Build. Renovate. Time now for our Student Athletes of the Week presented by Tony Letcher with Health Markets. We have two outstanding football players from Marion and St. Joe with us here tonight, also excelling in the classroom as well. Caleb Johnson, a senior at Marion, and Brady Loniger, a senior at St. Joe. Brady, we'll start with you. In addition to playing football, you're also a member of the baseball team. You have a 4.4 GPA. How do you balance everything? Um, really just taking advantage of the free class time. Like We get a flex period at least twice a week, and just getting all my homework done then. Just saves me time for after school so I can get the rest I need for Friday nights. You're involved in freshman mentoring. Tell us about that and why you do it. Um, I really just do it because I want to get my freshman experience, and especially the football players that are coming up, I want them to get the experience I had and just be able to, be able to lead the rest of the community around them. What's the future hold for you? Um, I plan a sunny business somewhere in college, but I'm undecided. All right, and obviously uh, St. Joe does a great job preparing you. How do they prepare you for what the future will hold? Um, I mean, it's great teachers, great education. There's a great program you can go through just to get through a bunch of AP classes and get college credit. Brady, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Caleb Johnson, senior here for the Marion Knights. He also participates in track, has a 4.5 GPA. How do you pull it all off? Um, kind of like Brady said, it's uh, all about time management, and I wish I do the best that, uh, the best I can do and everything. So just uh, holding, holding myself to that standard allows me to do pretty much anything I can put my mind to. You're also part of the South Bend Mishawaka Youth Leadership Program. Tell us a little bit about that and why you do it and how rewarding that is. Yeah, it's great. Um, so I applied there my sophomore year, um, went through an uh, interview process, and it just allows me to get like um, a better sense of the community that I'm in. Um, I did a fundraiser for Hello Gorgeous, and I was able to raise money for them. Um, they help women that are going through cancer, and it was just a great, great uh, experience. What's the future hold for you? Um, I, plan I plan to attend college. Um, Maybe looking something in uh, biology, Notre Dame, Villanova, are two of my top colleges right now. All right, Villanova is a good one. That's a uh, Pennsylvania. That's my home. Uh, finally, tell us a little bit about what being a Marion Knight means to you. Um, neither of my parents are from here, so I don't have uh, family. But I feel like when I came here, like I am just part of a big family, and that's really what it means to me. It's more of a, it's less of a school, more of a family to me. 
Caleb, thank you very much. Congratulations. Brady, congratulations again. Caleb Johnson, Brady Loniger, two outstanding representations of their schools. This is the Holy War on Sports Michiana, and this was the Student Athletes of the Week presented by Tony Letcher with Health Markets. We're back right after this on the Sports Michiana Game of the Week. When contractors and OEMs need quality electrical products at the best prices, Bye. used to really grind my gears. So many tires, and the thought of choosing the right one made me, um... Precisely. That's before I went to TireRack.com. I got the best deal hands down. My tires, ship fast and free, arrive the next day like clockwork. TireRack even gave me two years of free road hazard protection. Precisely. TireRack.com. The way tire buying should be. And this edition of the Sports Michiana High School Football Game of the Week being brought to you in part by Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, putting people over profits. 14-0 Marion at the intermission as we join you from the Notre Dame Federal Credit Union broadcast booth. Chuck Freebie and Bo Hunt high above the fray. The defenses have dominated in this one. We knew this was going to be kind of a defensive battle. Both these defenses were going to step up. Marion with a little bit better offense, and it showed here tonight. They moved the ball a lot more than St. Joe was able to. Half. As Caleb Johnson was able to pick up a pass when St. Joe was threatened. About what Marion has played this year in their schedule, their first two games against Mishawaka and then Culver Academies, how tough a team they've played coming into, into this game. And just having that one and two record, everybody's like, eh, maybe St. Joe's got the edge. I'll tell you what, this Marion team's no joke. Well, this game always brings out the big luminaries from both schools, and some of them are standing by on the sidelines tonight. Let's go downstairs for a Diocese of Fort Wayne South Bend Catholic School sideline report with Angelo DiCarlo. And by big, you mean tall. It's always fun.
What are your thoughts on how exciting it is when St. Joe and Marion are going at it? I thought it's, it's always been neat, you know. Whether it's football, I think it's kind of neat for the NIC. All the sports played this week. You know, I know volleyball was here. You know, and I think soccer played this week. You know, I think that just kind of adds to it, you know. And I, I don't know if during winter if they're doing that with wrestling and girls basketball. But it's always intense, you know. And I know the fans, you know, like it. And it seems like every ICCL kid in the area is out here right now, you know, playing football or something. So it's always been an exciting time, you know, all the years that I've been coming to the Holy War. And the one thing I've noticed is while it's intense on the field, on the court, afterwards for the most part everyone gets along you and eric been chatting for a while how nice is it to have a rivalry that when you get off the court out of the game you guys can still be close and friends i think it's great you know if when they won the sectional you know i was rooting for them and we talked a few times you know we talked you know mark johnson before him and i have been friends for a thousand years ben downey and i've been we taught in the mishawaka schools 20 25 years ago you know it's just they're great guys you know, the great programs that they run, and you, know, you always want to beat them. You know, I'm sure Coach Davidson wants to obviously win tonight, but at the end of the day, you know, he's going to probably be, still be friends with Downey like I am with Coach Gaff. Coach, let's talk a little basketball. Obviously, you guys went down to the state finals, have a lot of great players back this year. What's your mindset as a coach to get your team re- ready for that after you have that success and a lot of those guys are back? Obviously, the expectations will be through the roof. Uh, we've been talking about championship behaviors. Everything we want to do through the summer, now into the fall, is about championship behaviors. Uh, you can fact check, man. Think about every team that's made a run loses in sectionals the following year. And, and so that's, you know, one of those success traps you get. You have some success, and you just expect yourself to make a big run no matter what. And so that's the big thing we're trying to get out of our kids. Like, hey, you've got to have the behaviors that are going to lead to a championship. Everything we do from tying our shoes to the way we're shooting free throws has to be on par with the championship. Rob, what are you expecting out of your group this year? Uh, I think once we get going, I think we'll be an experience like we were last year. And, you know, we may have a kind of a tough start at the beginning. But I think towards the end of the year, you know, we can compete with, you know, the teams in our sectional. And that sectional is uh, loaded as always. Uh, it, it won't be easy, will it? It always is. I mean, it's. I always say in this area, and 4A coaches get mad at me all they want, but this 3A sectional is tougher than the 4A sectional 90% of the time. Rob, thank you very much. Eric, thank you very much. Eric Gaff, head coach at St. Joe. Rob Berger, head coach at Marion. Chuck and Bo, back up to you. All right, let me give you quickly some scores from around the area here. Uh, Garrett leading Lakeland 13-0 at halftime. That's a battle of the unbeatens in the NACC. Penn on top of South Bend, Washington, 44-0 at the half. Paw Paw leads Sturgis up in Michigan, 56-0 at the half. First quarter, Valpo leads Michigan City by a count of 7-6. We also have Warsaw leading Wawasee, 56 nothing at the half. St. Joe on top of Cal Loy Norix up in Michigan, 35 nothing at the Ooh. half. Waterville and Delton Kellogg tied at 8 up in Michigan. Here's a little bit of a surprise. Fairfield with a 16-10 lead on Culver Military at a halftime. South Haven leads Coloma, 21-14 at the half. Also, Mishawaka and Northwood in quite the scrap. The Cavemen lead at 15-13 at the intermission. Edwardsburg leads Plainwell 39-17 at the half. And at the half at Jackson Field, Elkhart leads Riley 7-2. So the defense has shown up for Riley tonight. Here, 14-0 Marion with the lead. We're back with second half play-by-play from Matulski Field. Thanks for joining us here in the Notre Dame Federal Credit Union broadcast booth. You're watching high school football on Sports Michiana. Shopping for tires used to be like pulling teeth. That was before I went to TireRack.com. TireRack's Tire Decision Guide made it easy to drill down to the right tires for me. Huh? Oh, I got a great deal. My tires shipped fast and free and arrived the next day. I even got two years of free road hazard protection. Huh? You're darn right, wow. Next time your tires get long in the tooth, visit TireRack.com. TireRack.com, the way tire buying should be. Some people see a huddle in the locker room. We see a second classroom. Some see a student athlete on the court. We see a future leader in the community. You see, high school sports in Indiana are special. That's because they're about learning and growing, not just winning and losing. Fans, I'm Commissioner Paul Neidig. Support education-based athletics in Indiana by buying a ticket to your high school's next athletic event. 
in need of an award? Call Crown Trophy of Mishawaka, the area's premier award provider. They've been serving the area since 2001 with cutting-edge exclusive products. Personalized with state-of-the-art laser engraving technology. And Crown Trophy has more than just trophies. They offer corporate, sales, and retirement awards, along with personalized gifts and promotional products. Crown Trophy, nationally known, locally owned, where everyone's a winner. Medicare plans can be confusing. Yep. They don't have to be. I'm Tony Ledger. Yeah, so they just went to the three minute. So I would say go ahead and, yeah, everything through Lily or stop there. You can find the coverage that fits your needs and budget. I don't want you to be my client today. I want you to be my client forever. Call Tony Ledger today to schedule your free consultation or visit tledger.com. Shopping for tires used to be like pulling teeth. That was before I went to TireRack.com. TireRack's tire decision guide made it easy to drill down to the right tires for me. Huh? Oh, I got a great deal. My tires shipped fast and free and arrived the next day. I even got two years of free road hazard protection. Huh? You're darn right, wow. Next time your tires get long in the tooth, visit TireRack.com. TireRack.com, the way tire buying should be. Are you tired of auto service from big box stores and new car dealers? 45 years ago, my parents, Bud and Diane, founded Zolman's with a strong commitment to the community. Today, Zolman's Best One Tire and Auto Care is still family owned and operated with over 150 employees and families. And we offer a price match guarantee on any tires from any local dealer while providing complete auto service on all makes and all models. Serving you and your family for three generations. Buy local, shop local. Zolman's Best One Tire and Auto Care. Founded in 2001 by brothers Sam and Levi, Reliance has built a reputation for excellence, providing high-quality home building and renovation services to the Michiana area. From single-room renovations like kitchens and bathrooms to building your dream home from the ground up, everything benefits from their decades of experience. From concept to completion, Reliance makes even the largest projects simple and hassle-free. To find out more, visit ReliancedBR.net. Reliance. Design. Build. Renovate. And this edition of the Sports Michiana High School Game of the Week being brought to you in part by Big C Lumber. Let's go downstairs for a diocese of Fort Wayne South Bend Catholic School sideline report. Angelo DiCarlo had a chance to chat with Ben Downey at the intermission. Yeah, Chuck, he said self-inflicted wounds. That's what he that's what he said to his team. Was like, look, in a game like this, you cannot have those type of self-inflicted wounds when both teams are so evenly matched. He said the good news was halftime came at the right time. It gave him an opportunity to flush that away. He said, yeah, you could see the spirits were down after having a couple of those big plays go against them. But now having a 20-minute or so halftime gives them a chance to regroup and recharge and hopefully come out strong here to start the third quarter. And St. Joe will get the kickoff. To start the third quarter, a third quarter brought to us by our friends at Stip Law. Stip Law in South Bend is excited to support high school football on Sports Michiana. Stip Law achieves positive results by providing comprehensive, passionate representation. Stip Law, legal help for all life's hurdles. Lucas Primrose will do the kicking here for the Marion Knights. And back deep to receive. Hurley and Butsumsi, or is that Ruskowski? It looks like Ruskowski has taken over for Butsumsi to return the kickoff. Darkness has fallen here upon Atulski Field. Great night for high school football. And the second half of the Holy War is underway. High spinning kick, Ruskowski from his 15. Ryan Ruskowski... Tried to hit the seam and wound up only getting to about the 20. So third and 22 for St. Joe. And Shikitano again will just hand it off to Loniger. They're going very conservative here with the backup quarterback in the game. Pickup of two on the play. It'll be fourth down in a punting situation. The punt's tonight sponsored by K2 Power Solutions. 
Carlton has been in business in South Bend for more than 50 years and are the country's leading provider of financial calculation software. While they serve clients throughout the country, Carlton believes in giving back here at home, including supporting St. Joe, where three generations of Rushkowskis have graduated. Go St. Joe! So Ryder place on to boot it away. Braxton Brooks is the deep man for Marion. Fellas, I have the feeling we still have 7.53 to go in this one, but Caleb Johnson may get the rare sweep of student athlete, reliance player of the game, and big C lumber play of the game all in one night. Well, you know what? This defense has been phenomenal all night, and Caleb Johnson's been leading the way. And, and uh, you know, Coach Davison talked to uh, Anj as he was going off the field at halftime, and he asked him about him, and he said he couldn't be a, a better human being off the field as well. Timeout here called by... St. Joe gives us a chance to thank another one of our sponsors. And that would be Tire Rack. And there for more than 40 years, Tire Rack has been helping people find the right tires for how, what, and where they drive. They're nationally known and locally run by an outstanding team. TireRack.com, the way tire buying should be. Reminder, Monday nights on Pulse FM at 7 p.m. Anj and I talk Notre Dame football on Notre Dame Federal Credit Union's Irish football fix as we will break down the game against the Purdue Boilermakers from Saturday, look ahead to the next home game with Miami of Ohio, and then we will also have a focus on faith feature. It all comes your way Monday night at 7 on uh, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union's Irish Football Fix. That's also available in podcast form. Looks like one of the officials has an emergency to attend to, so we will play the rest of this game with four officials. And that is why the timeout was called. Hang on, we'll go down to Angelo De Carlo with an update from the Diocese of Fort Wayne South Bend Catholic School sideline report after this punt by place. High hanger here that Brooks will not attempt to field as it takes a St. Joe roll and dies of the Marion 45. Anj, what do you have? Uh, yeah, the back judge uh, was alerted to a family emergency. So let's keep uh, the Wallman family in our prayers. So he is off to take care of more important things than right here. That's the an important thing to remember. These officials, and we're always asking for more officials for the Indiana High School Athletic Association, Human beings just like the rest of us, and they have families, and they have issues that come up, and their families are generous with their time on Friday nights and, and many other nights during the week, but sometimes things happen that you just have to tend to whether you're in the middle of a game or not. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's something that they dedicate uh, their extra time to and coming out here for these kids and these student athletes and for everybody in the stands, and this crew's been around. It's a very good crew. We've seen them years and years and years here on uh, – the game of the week, and hopefully everything's okay, and prayers to them. 44-yard line, first and 10 for Marion, trying to bleed the last 740 of this one. The pitch sweep to Brian Osmond. He tries to get around the outside, and he's hauled down from behind on the tackle by Lonnie Kearse. The 6'3", 300-pound senior gets him after a pickup of three. Marin Products has been known for meeting customer metal forming needs for more than 50 years, and they support everyone playing in tonight's game, but yeah, they do admit they really like Marion. Learn more at MarinProducts.com. Jimtown now with a 22-14 lead on John Glenn, that game in the fourth quarter down in Walkerton. Chesterton with a 14-0 lead on Laporte, that game in the second quarter. Penn beats up in Washington tonight, 44-6. Second and seven from the 47. And another whistle and another flag for a false start on Marion. The 11th night 11. penalty of the night. I was just going to ask if that was getting into double digits, and sure is. 11 penalties. They don't have to clean that up. Luckily, their defense has been lights out all night, really setting up the offense. And the offense really hasn't made any big mistakes, any turnovers uh, like uh, St. Joe has with their interceptions and stuff, but uh, got to clean those uh, penalties up, Marion, moving forward. In Michigan, Portage Central has beaten Lakeshore 35-14. Winnemac with a 22-14 lead on Culver. And that game has three minutes left in the fourth quarter. 
Edwardsburg beats Plainwell tonight, 61-24. Here's a stop in the backfield by the St. Joe defense. Planning and preparation are important in life, and when it comes to estate planning, Peter Horvath Law will get you prepared. Need a will, trust, living will, or power of attorney? Peter is ready to advise and support you in protecting your assets and passing them on to your family. Learn more at PeterHorvathLaw.com and go Knights. Concord now leads Northridge 34-17 in the fourth. LaVille leads Bremen 13-12 with 36 seconds left in that one in the fourth. Marr rolls out, takes a hit, but delivers to Jack Deerroll. He's short of the first down as he makes the catch at the midfield stripe. Lucas Marr has been taking some beatings tonight and getting that ball out and down the field. Great job again there getting it to Jack. It's a nine-yard pickup there. 155 yards passing now for Marion tonight. And they will go for it here on fourth and four because... They have that much confidence in their defense, and why not? They're up 20 to nothing, playing with house money. Brooks in motion. Fake the end around, give it to Osman, and he cannot get the first down. Owen Balant came in and made the stop after a pickup of two, and St. Joe will take over on downs with 5.51 to go. Marion leads 20 nothing. You're watching high school football on Sports Michiana. Your car carries precious cargo. It needs to be dependable, rain or shine. Let Tom's Car Care Center in South Bend help take the stress out of your car's maintenance. We'll change your oil in 10 minutes, plus your transmission, replace your wiper blades, and much more. Oil changes include a half-price car wash when needed. Welcome to your extended family, Tom's Car Care Center. And this edition of the Sports Michiana High School Football Game of the Week being brought to you by the St. Joseph County Police Department. Join the team and help protect and serve our community. It is first and ten for St. Joe from its own 48-yard line. The Huskies trailing 20 to nothing. The bad snap is picked up, and I believe that is Franco Biffle on the carry for his first carry of the night as he takes it up to the 47-yard line to pick up a five. It looked like the ball, when they went to snap it, it, it's one of those where the ball kind of gets caught when they're snapping it back to that shotgun, and it just rolls back, and Biffle was there. Here we might get a look on it. Yeah, went back, ball rolled back. Biffle was able to just pick it up and pick up uh, five yards, biggest rushing play of the night for St. Joe. Oddly enough, the other good news here is that A.J. Lassine is back in a quarterback for St. Joe, so whatever happened to him, on that last series where he was sacked, he appears to have recovered from. We'll see how he throws it here under pressure, and it is dropped by Dallas Downey. Founded in 1853, St. Joseph Parish is a vibrant community of faith in the heart of South Bend. At St. Joseph Parish, we seek to deepen our relationship with Jesus Christ by making God known, loved, and served. Learn more at stjoeparish.com or St. Joe josephgradeschool.com Lusane has thrown for 93 yards tonight but it has happened as he has thrown the ball 29 times so if you're Marion defensive coordinator Steve McNamara you got to be thrilled with the average per attempt that you're allowing tonight third and five from the 47 high snap nobody caught it and it's taken away by Marion flag, flag on the play Flag on the play, so hold on. Yeah, it might have been a false start or an offsides. They're calling it in. If Marion recovered the fumble, it would be Seth Kurzader credited with the recovery. And indeed, the penalty against St. Joe, it'll be... Marion football at the Husky 46, the fourth turnover of the night for the Husky. A big thank you to Bruno's Pizza at River Park on Mishawaka Avenue for feeding our crew tonight. Stop in, take out, or get delivery from Bruno's Pizza, the best pizza in town since 1975. Go Knights! 
I don't know if Franco Biffle was confused on the play or if he was supposed to try to take a running start and grab that. Either way, it didn't work well for St. Joe. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what it was. Look, to me, it looked like it was one of those bad snaps again, and he just thought he would you know, go over to try to take care of the ball, being that it was high and off to the side. Boville has beaten Bremen for the ninth straight time. This one, 13-12 Lancers. Hand off in the backfield, and Braxton Brooks this time is able to power forward for about five yards on the carry. Brooks on the carry. Brooks with his first carry of the night. He had carried the ball 11 times coming into this one. Marion trying to just keep it on the ground, keep that clock running at this point. Reminder, our fourth quarter sponsor is Christian Furniture. Stop on in and McKinley Avenue, Mishawaka. Second down and five. Lucas Marr hands it off. This is Brooks again, and he's got a first down sponsored by Marion High School all the way up to the 33-yard line. Jack Haig brings him down, but not until the Knights move the chains on an eight-yard pickup by Brooks. And that first down sponsored by Marion High School. Big thank you to both these schools, Marion and St. Joe being so welcoming to our crew tonight and throughout the week visiting the schools. West Noble beats Angola tonight 35-10. Monty Mahorder's team now 4-0 on the year. Another big night running the football for Seth Pruitt. Mishawaka over Northwood 35-19. So Keith Kinder's team gets a nice bounce back win. Marr taken down by Owen Balant after a loss of one. Balant, the heartbeat of the St. Joe defense, an all-state hockey player, very good baseball catcher, 4.0 GPA. Three-sport athletes still do it in the classroom. Not too shabby. Yep. And that St. Joe baseball team expected to have a big year this year for Johnny Smolenski. A lot, a lot of returners last year team a lot of seniors coming back did lee, lee lose jace lee here's heading a to notre dame throw out in the flat and do so and it takes three huskies to bring him down at the 31 yard line pickup of about five on the play for owens who had that nifty touchdown catch earlier here in the fourth that'll be an interesting holy war this year between mary and st joe in baseball and basketball Every sport's very interesting. Rob Berger alluded to this during the halftime interview with Anj. It was a big week of competition between the two schools. Marion won the volleyball game in five, volleyball match in five games last night as Brooks takes the handoff. Brooks, electric, going up the middle, touchdown. From 30 yards out, it's sponsored by Marin Products, and there's the dagger. Great job cutting up field, getting in open territory, making one last cut into the end zone. You can see that speed once he was able to get up field and get an open field. You can see here on the J-Mill packaging replay. Great job seeing the hole, getting up field, making that cut. Prescott Horvath was a road grader on that play and just moving people out of the way. And he had some help from Preston Shue as well. So a fine run by Marion, and Lucas Primrose is on to try the extra point. This time the snap is good. This time the kick is good. 2.55 to go, and Marion trying to get the shutout. They lead it 27-0. A reminder, next Friday night, more high school football on Sports Michiana as we will join you from Interra Field in Middlebury. Number 10, Northwood, goes to take on Northridge in what is always a spirited Alcar County rivalry. We're on the air with the pregame on the live stream at 645 on both the Sports Michiana and WSBT Facebook and YouTube pages. And then we'll have the kickoff for you at 7 p.m. 
A big thank to you to Lilliard Insurance Agency for their work in helping Sports Michiana get all its insurance needs. Real people, real service, real value. That's their slogan. But Matt Lilliard and his team also live it every day. Visit realvalueins.com to get the personal touch you deserve. Garrett has defeated Lakeland tonight, 41-27. Garrett now 4-0. Lakers fall to 3-1. Rochester gets its sixth shutout in the last 12 games. Wow. They beat Manchester 36-0. Barry and Springs with a win tonight as they get a 28-14 victory up in Michigan. And Valparaiso leads Michigan City 17-6 in the third quarter. Lucas Primrose ready to do the kicking. High end over end kick. Hurley will take it from his two. And Hurley stumbles and falls at the 18-yard line. It's been that kind of night for the Huskies. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union is the financial institute of choice for Sports Michiana, plus hundreds of churches and schools. Link your Elevate credit or debit card, and your nonprofit earns 1% cash back. Go to NotreDameFCU.com backslash Elevate to learn more. Concord is now 4-0. They beat Northridge 34-17 and will face Warsaw next Friday at Jake Field. Now that's going to be a game next week, Warsaw and Concord. If you listen to the drive to the game, it will be a test for my friend, Mr. DiCarlo. Yes, indeed. Because two of his picking rules will conflict. They will definitely conflict. <laughs> First and Friday. 10 from the 15. Here's a handoff on a jet sweep. Noah Butsumsi with the carry. He He's still going. actually didn't touch down, but they whistled him down at the 21 yard line. We've seen that play many a times over the past 10, 15 years where player will roll over the top of another player. Here you can see it. Mm, His knee might, might have, have touched, touched there at the yeah. 21. Noah's built so low to the ground at 5'3", it's hard to tell what head and shoulders, knees and toes there. Exactly. Scoreboard says second and ten, but it's more like second and five. But some see on the run again. Makes a nifty move there and is able to spin his way forward to the 27-yard line. That should be good enough for a St. Joe first down. Let's go downstairs to Angelo DiCarlo for a Diocese of Fort Wayne South Bend Catholic Schools sideline report. I do have a few rules when I pick games on the drive to game. I never pick against Bart Curtis. And this year, I'm never picking against Concord. So you'll have to tune in next Friday at 6 p.m. on Pulse FM to see how I creatively get out of this mess because I don't know what's going to happen. There are no ties in high school football. Let's put it that way. First and 10 from the 26. No question, though, Craig Kaler's got a really good this team this year over in Dunlap. Now we've got a whistle and a flag against St. Joe. And that'll march him back five yards. Delay of game called on the Huskies. This Marion team we talked about at the top, Bo. They had played good competition those first two games. Had Mishawaka down by 10 at halftime. Had CMA on the ropes till the end of the game. But it looks like they might be getting things going. Now, the problem for Marion is, as you take a look at this nice run here by Franco Biffle, their schedule is not friendly here in the NIC, especially being the smallest school in the conference. Yeah, I mean, the, their game's coming up. They got Penn and Elkhart coming up. And, I mean, they got a tough schedule for sure. But when I look forward, I look forward to the playoffs. And their 3A sectional is very winnable for Marion. St. Joe, on the other hand, that 4A sectional that they're in, oh, man, oh, man, I tell you what, that's going to be a barn burner in those, those teams in that 4A sectional. And honestly, if their line can't protect any better than it did tonight, they're really going to be in a world of hurt in that sectional. But there's a long way to go until we get there. Here's Franco Biffle on the run for St. Joe, and Biffle works his way through traffic, gets a first down to the 45-yard line with 25 and a half seconds left. 
Biffle getting some yardage here late in the game. Marion defense has their backups in there, getting some playing time for some other guys. And by the way, when we talk about the toughness of Marion's schedule, they're at Penn next week. For St. Joe, they turn around and they play host to South Bend Adams at Leighton Stadium and Father Bly Field. St. Joe does have to run another play, even though team is looking over at Ben Downey, but Ben Downey says, let's just forget about the rules of the play clock and go down out of here. And this one has come to an end at Atulski Field. It's a shutout for Marion in the Holy War. They win it by a final score of 27-0. When we return, our St. Joe County Police Department postgame show features our Reliance Player of the Game and our Big C Lumber Big Play of the Game. And it all comes your way next on Sports Michiana's Game of the Week. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA. Are you tired of auto service from big box stores and new car dealers? 45 years ago, my parents, Bud and Diane, founded Zolman's with a strong commitment to the community. Today, Zolman's Best One Tire and Auto Care is still family owned and operated with over 150 employees and families. And we offer a price match guarantee on any tires from any local dealer while providing complete auto service on all makes and all models. Serving you and your family for three generations. Buy local, shop local. Zolman's Best One Tire and Auto Care. Thank you for watching the Sports Michiana High School Game of the Week. And thank you to all these great sponsors for making it possible. Support us by supporting them. Twenty-seven nothing the final here at Atulski Field as the two games, the two teams will gather for